Test 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Bonjour, comment ça va? Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Now, today's video, I'm very shocked because I didn't realize this until literally an hour ago when I was watching Disco uh, VR's uh, Titiana's video. Uh, hi, Titiana, if you're watching. Um, Facebook haven't just scrapped the name Facebook and changed their name to Meta. Um, they've actually scrapped the name Oculus. Wow. They have scrapped the name Oculus. Now, I didn't realize this. This is really a huge deal. Uh, and we're going to talk about this as to why in a moment. So do watch until the end of the video and make sure you do reshare this video on all your social media, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, uh, your Twitter, your Reddit. So we grow the community because we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, guys. The more subscribers we get, I can do hardware giveaways. The hardware manufacturers will send us a headset to do reviews. I can give do giveaways of keys and all the rest of it. But this, this is, this is big news. So let, let's just transition over um, to the article which is written by CNET. Facebook pivoting to Meta wants to pivot the Oculus Quest and AR2. Um, Facebook drops Oculus name as part of Meta rebrand. Get ready for the Meta Quest. That's right, guys. So as we know, Facebook officially renamed itself to Meta on Thursday. Um, as it begins to transition to the new corporate name, the company will get rid of the Oculus brand that started its move into virtual reality. Wow. The Oculus brand, including the Oculus Quest VR headset and Oculus app, will be rebranded to MetaQuest and MetaQuest app in early 2022, according to a Facebook post by Andrew Bosworth, the company's next CTO, Chief Technical Officer. Other Oculus names will also be changed, such as Oculus Home to Horizon Home, Oculus Venues to Horizon Venues, Oculus Friends to Horizon Friends, and Oculus Profile to Horizon Profile. Now, guys, obviously... There are a number of reasons as to why they're doing this. First of all, they're changing the name to Meta, not purely, only because the vision of the metaverse and all these kind of things, but mainly because actually Mark is going to get in a lot of legal problems himself now, which could potentially get him jail time. That's in the news. There are articles floating around. That's going to happen. So, Furthermore, there are federal cases against... Um, Facebook now, in specifically Detroit, apparently, about all the investor, the, 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 the issues that have been happening recently is that Facebook has been deceiving investors about the user growth, telling people it's had more users when in fact it's actually been declining by more than 16% in, uh, in, in, in young users, especially young users. Um, so there's a lot more coming and they want to disassociate sorry, um, whatever's going to happen next in the multiverse, uh, sorry, in, in, in the metaverse with what's happening with Facebook because they don't want uh, Instagram, um, Oculus, the metaverse uh, to be brought down in the mud by what's going on at Facebook. So they have to separate Facebook. They can't have it together. They need to run it on its own, because at the moment, Meta or Meta or the Meta or Horizon, if you wish, the Horizon, because that's really what's important uh, to Facebook or Meta at the moment, uh, has no bad name to it. It doesn't have any negative connotations to it. So it doesn't want Facebook to bring that down and calling it Facebook Horizons. And then people won't use Horizon because Facebook's having issues. It wants it to be completely separate. Um, however, if Meta gets brought through down the mud because of Facebook things, and I don't know how they're going to avoid that. But more importantly, this is big. I mean, the fact that Oculus is down, that's going to disappoint a lot of people. But I think it's actually healthy for the ecosystem. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. So make sure you watch until the end of the video. Let's transition back over to the article. We all have a strong attachment to the Oculus brand. And this was a very difficult decision to make, Bosworth said in the post. While we're retiring the name, I can assure you that the original Oculus vision remains, excuse me, deeply embedded in how Meta will continue to drive mass adoption for VR today. Facebook purchased Oculus in 2014 for two billion dollars. Uh, the virtual company made a big splash with its first VR headset, the Rift, which was funded by a Kickstarter campaign. Meta is now the new parent company, which will oversee Facebook's assets, including social media platform uh, itself, Instagram, WhatsApp, 
and the virtual and augmented reality components. So the reason why I think it's healthy for the ecosystem is because let me tell you something if, you, if you're not used to, if, if you're new into VR, you've only been in VR for maybe a year or less than that. Oculus is basically loved by the previous generation or the first generation of Facebook, of, of VR users. All your people like Mike from uh, Virtual Reality Oasis, Natey, and, and other people like, who, who, and, and like, like them too. They're, they're the two most popular you know, uh, YouTubers in the world of VR. I respect what they do, I love what they do, I'm subscribers to what they do, and I've seen and been and inspired by what they do. However, where I feel there's a lack of uh, reality, let's say, is that they are very much in love with Oculus, but they're not in love with Facebook. They're not in love with Facebook Reality Labs. They're in love with Oculus, but they're not able to dissociate Oculus with Facebook. They don't see the connection. They're in love with the Oculus of what they knew, which was when they first really discovered VR and put a VR headset, the, the, the Rift DK1, I think it was, or something like that. And they went, wow, this is amazing. I, this is huge, this is massive. I love this, I'm in love with this. They, over time, it doesn't matter how much atrocities Facebook has actually created and, and how much negative impact it's had on the world over especially the last couple of years. Um, it doesn't matter how many bad things they've done and to the level they've done it, they are in love with Oculus and they don't see the association with what Facebook's done. So this is why I think it's healthy for the, the ecosystem. I think it's good that Facebook are scrapping the name Oculus because for once and for all, Facebook know that sales are driven much higher when emotion is involved. If you're in love with something, they can drive sales much more. They could actually choose to continue using the, the word Oculus and keep driving better sales and keep having all these influencers who are in love with the word Oculus to, to be passionate about it and to come out in such a way that it really drives hype and a lot of people to want to go out there and buy all these various different headsets. They've actually decided to say, look guys, we're Facebook, we've made a lot of, we, we've created a lot of problems in the world we're going to be more honest with you and we're going to scrap what we feel is a mirage or something we're hiding behind um, and, and we're just going to start from scratch is basically what they're saying. So does the word MetaQuest sound cool to you? Does it sound better than Pimax? Does it sound better than HTC Vive Flow? Does it sound better than Valve? Does it sound better than Pico? Does it sound better than Lynx? Does it sound better than Reverb? I mean, does it sound better than Oculus? It's gonna be very interesting to see whether this is gonna impact the sales of Oculus because let's not forget that, as I mentioned, uh, let's go back to the uh, to the thing. Now, the, the sales of the Oculus sales, the sales of Oculus VR headsets so far apparently is 4.6 million units for the Oculus Quest 2 and uh, Oculus Quest 1 was around, I don't know, I think it was around 2 million or, or, so, or something like that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, units sold. 800k, I think it was around 2 million quests, something like that. So in total, they got about 600 million. Now, you know, as I mentioned before in a recent report, um, sorry, I forgot to transition over, let me transition now. Uh, in a recent report, um, you know, as I mentioned, Oculus, uh, Facebook have actually deceived investors in, telling, in pumping numbers. It is very possible that they've actually done exactly the same thing for Quest. And the only reason why I think this could be true, I'm not saying it is true, but the only reason why I think it could be true is because there aren't that many people in VR. There aren't millions of people in VR. Like when I go in VR, you know, I'd be lucky, there, a lot, even in population one, when I used to go in there, okay, there are people, don't get me wrong, VR chat, okay, there are people. But I'm just saying there are not millions of people. You know, there may be thousands of people, but there are not millions of people. So I don't know whether the, the, the numbers, you know, whether it's true that there are 6 million units that have been sold uh, or not. But at the end of the day, um, 
I think this is good. I think it's healthy for VR. It's it's sad for all those who love the word Oculus, for sure. I mean, I started my first uh, startup, VR startup, called VR Parties, using Oculus headsets for my clients, uh, which I did for until COVID hit me in the head and scrapped, scrapped it completely and destroyed it, basically. Um, so, you know, it, it is sad, but at the end of the day, I think it's healthy for the ecosystem. I think it's good for VR. It's going to give more room for competitors now to compete with something that people are not so in love with based on a name, but who are in love with because they really feel that it's a good product. And um, I, I think Oculus Quest is a good product. Technologically speaking, it is more advanced than a lot of stuff. But I think at the end of the day, what Facebook was doing was wrong and it was using the word Oculus to prey on people who are in love with the word and that's it. So whether people will still back the name Meta is something we'll have to see, you know. Uh, let's just watch and see. It's going to be very interesting. Um, very, very interesting. Very interesting. Guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Remember to like, share, reshare this video on all your social media so more people get to, to visit the, uh, the channel. We're almost... Uh, let me just show you guys, you know, if I go back to our YouTube uh, YouTube channel. And guys, I did upload some about. cool videos uh, recently. I, I, I uploaded about the Project Cambria, uh, Facebook changing its name, the Gemini from Ultra Leap launching the world's best hand tracking technology, uh, and also Pimax and a whole bunch of other VR headsets. But if I go to our YouTube studio, You'll see we're nearly at 10,000 subscribers, guys. So please, please, please smash that like button. Smash the reshare button so that we can reach 10,000 subscribers and hardware manufacturers will send me stuff to review. We can do giveaways, not just with hardware, but with keys and a whole ton of more things. Guys, leave a comment below. I'll see you in the comments and another video very, very shortly. This is massive news. Ciao, au revoir.